Charlie brought the machines to my house the other day. He got some maintenance work to do. Took the toolbox off of here because we got to replace the seals in this hydraulic cylinder for the tilt for the table. And we drained the fluid out of that again. You can see what came out of there. That's supposed to be 80-90 and it's mostly water. But uh, it's actually haven't been having any issues with it even though it's all nasty but we're gonna fill that back up again get the seals repacked in that cylinder we gotta buy a, a socket headed allen wrench because we can't fit the one that we need in there there's not enough room and while the toolbox is off we're gonna try and get the lid off of here in order to do so you gotta grind that one and that one there, those hinges off because they're welded on to hold the lid on. We're gonna try and straighten this out so no more crap gets in there anymore. But we had the heater blowing on there to warm that up to get the 8090 to come out. And we also, I did a lot of greasing today. My boy did a lot of greasing today. We drained all the hydraulic fluid out until a 55 gallon barrel was full of hydraulic fluid. We got more to drain tomorrow. That nut right there drains it. And then I got another nut on the other side that we'll drain the other side with because basically once you come down to here, There'll be fluid on that side too and this here portion if you look at it where you have to drain both sides to get it all out. Now we're going to put a water separator filter on it to catch water. Run it for a day and then we'll put a regular filter back on and then I had to tighten up the exhaust because the exhaust was these clamps started getting loose and she was sliding over a little bit and I got a new escape hatch coming tomorrow brand new so that'd be nice get that put on there I'll feel a lot safer than having that cracked uh, pexy glass and rotten plywood keeping me from getting hit by stuff oh let's see what else we got I got all the belly pans dropped on this thing because it changed the oil today. And I got to grease all the universal joints on it. And there's a bunch of other places that need to be greased. There is a filter in here. In this big valve bank. There's a filter in here I got to replace. Be changing all the hydraulic filters out on it. And I guess there's five hydraulic filters. There's one up there where the reservoir is at. There's two underneath. There's one underneath the cab. And I think that it'd be one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one. Yep. <laughs> so it's been a busy day. Uh,. It's super cold outside. It's in the negatives at night and only a couple degrees during the day. Running a torpedo heater in here to stay warm and it's actually not that bad. This shop, my shop here is insulated but it's got in floor heat but I don't have nothing hooked up to the wood boiler because I don't have a wood boiler sufficient enough to heat the shop and the house so with time hopefully I can do that this thing you can see I had to get creative it barely fits in here if I had a little bit of headroom here for the boom I could have brought it in closer to the machine so 
I mean, there's a lot of room in here yet. This building's like 44 feet deep. But it just heights the problem, that's all. And then if we go and look out here, I don't know if you'll see or not, anyways. I got the skitter here too. And uh well, I don't know. We just repacked this here main boom cylinder not too long ago and it's leaking again, so we gotta rebuild that. And then not sure. I think we're gonna rebuild the one up there. I don't know about the one for the squirt boom here for where it extends out. I don't know if we're going to rebuild that one or not. Not sure. And then I got to do an oil change in this guy. And there's some... We're going to put some new battery cables on it. A little bit of wiring. So we had a minor fire this last July. That... Uh, I caught just in time I would say before it got worse I was parked next to him while he was skidding and I look over and this thing was on fire and I grabbed my extinguisher real quick I'll show you where it's at in the harvester grab my fire extinguisher real quick and Can't get much more accessible than that. Jumped out the door and ran and blew him out. And uh, yeah, that was that. So uh, basically, just one good chuff of the fire extinguisher and fire was out. So, anyways, I guess that's all I know. Just been working on the machine. But. This here came out a lot easier than I expected it to. This here. And this here. Just sit inside that groove right there and right there basically. And then there's a bushing that goes through here and there to uh, hold that piece together. And then some bolts go through and then there is... There's a few big uh, set bolts there that if you would tighten it down, you can see here where it was set against, here and here, hold it tight, so it can't move around on you. But that came out easy, the old engine hoist pulled her out of there nice and simply. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of nice in here working today. It was warm. Didn't see our breath. Didn't get cold. And we'd never be able to do it outside. Otherwise, we'd be freezing to death. So, Well, everybody, I guess I'll try and get some more updates as we go. It's kind of hard to when you're just working on it. You just want to get it done. But I figure... I was just out filling up the wood boiler and I figured I had to shut that heater off for the night and I guess go to bed soon. So that's what I'm up to. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.